kids start learning nonsense when they are very small, by watching the world around them, for example, or by imitating their parents' behavior. In a well-known experiment, children saw their parents verbally and physically attacking a doll. When the parents left, the children behaved the same way and bullied the doll. This shows that kids learn just by watching. But what if a child were to grow up without having the opportunity to watch things or to learn? What if no one ever taught you anything? Let's find out. One of the most important things that children learn from the start is the language. But what would happen if we never learnt a language and never are able to talk to anyone in our life? Of course, this is quite difficult to analyse as it's completely immoral to isolate a child for studies. But sometimes terrible circumstances allow scientists to examine the brains of children who grew up with no or very little human contact. The most famous example is Jeannie Wiley, a girl who grew up in a small bedroom locked up by her parents for the first 13 years of her life. She was found in 1970 and her parents went to court. From then on, she went into therapy, supervised by psychologists and linguists. She was examined to answer following questions. What happens if a person grows up without language? Can she still learn enough in her later life to be able to communicate? At first, things were looking good. Jeannie learned the definitions of individual objects quickly and made sentences with two or three words, but from then on her language skills hardly improved. This is because she didn't understand grammar. According to linguist Noam Chomsky, grammar is the main difference between our language and that of animals. One assumes that Jeannie missed the most important learning phase, which usually ends with puberty. Scientists believe that our brains are particularly open towards languages during this crucial phase. This theory is based off linguist Eric Lenneberg, who claimed that language settles in the left side of the brain brain from a certain point onwards. This would end the critical phase. After the stabilization process, the brain loses some of its formability. So if someone hasn't learned a language by that point, it probably will be really difficult to catch up. Sadly, this was the case with Jeannie, and one can assume that she never learned a language we use. However, she could learn other things quickly, like how to use a toilet or how to get dressed. It seems as though the critical learning phase is only important for languages. Other activities can be learned later. So guys, what do you think you will never learn? Let us know in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, we'd love a thumbs up of course. Now you can share this video, just click here or use the link in the description. That's it for today, see you next time, bye!